Hello. It's me. Uh, so, I made these armigers a little while back. And I painted them to kind of look like the Arizona green tea cans. So, that's what they are. But I also had Canis Rex. And I hadn't painted Canis Rex yet. And I'm not a big fan of the Canis Rex paint. It's like, paint scheme. Just that, ugh. Ugh. Anyway, so uh, I painted him the same way. And I did a lot of checkers too. You can probably tell. Yeah, here's here's how I did it. Alright, so the first step is getting a base layer on. Uh, I chose the Cybrite Green. It personally for me matches that Arizona Green Tea color just perfectly. But the base color doesn't really match. The tree effect is really like what draws everything in but if you want to do like a different base color the tree effect will be the same maybe change the color of the cherry blossom to match with it for the tree i like to use these artex acrylic markers now it's a little different than paint but it is the same material uh, so the first step, just a black layer, make sure you can see the tree and you know, see how it goes, try not to make the branches too complicated, and then go over it with a couple shades of gray. You can easily do this with paint, it's just slightly easier for me to do it with these markers. And then for my cherry blossom colors, I use Fulgrim Pink and Emperor's Children. Emperor's Children is like the, you know, it's this nice deeper pink that you can use for the cherry blossoms. And then the fulgrim pink is just like the nice cherry accent to get that nice blossom. Alright, so this started the long and laborious task of painting all of the checkers, which took me quite a few hours seeing how it was on half of his body but you know I, beforehand I penciled on this grid you can probably see it the footage for this was kind of hard to get because I had to keep holding him at these kind of odd angles just so I could see myself and it was even harder to get the camera angle to see it uh, I just have one tripod at the moment and I need thinking about going out and getting more which would probably be good I don't know how stale the cookies are, but this is going in the video. After painting all the checkers, I then began to do the gold trim. Uh, this is kind of, you know, Arizona green tea. It's got this gold kind of text, and that's what the gold trim originally was for. But it does provide like a nice accent, and it looks kind of cool.
So one of the steps I did forget was to paint the pilot. I made the door magnetized so I can just pop it off to see him, but I forgot to give him a paint job until about this point. And it was kind of hard to get in there, but it wasn't the worst thing, you know, just trying to, but it worked. So after doing all the gold trim, I began to do the basing, which I like this Vallejo, I don't know, it's a texture paste of some sort. All I can really say is buy one that looks kind of like what you're going for. I like to base a lot of my models in this kind of like muddy battlefield aesthetic. So I do a lot of mud and then green wash and then grass tufts and I call it good uh, but yeah I mudded up the base and then after that I began to apply a couple decals Canis Rex has quite a few specific decals like he's got his name on all of them he's got like the shield and the little banner that hangs from his crotch and his chest armor they all have little like names stickers so i put those on and of course uh i had to put a couple stickers on my dead little guy uh i don't exactly know what i was going for i just wanted to paint a purple guy dead on the base but i, I guess he could be like an emperor's children kind of like spy or something I don't know, but he's got all these runes on him now, so, yeah. And then I also did put one Chaos Rune sticker on the Contemptor bits that are on the back of the base. Just a little bit more flair. Like every good Warhammer painter when they're just starting, I slather the entire model in Nolan Oil. Uh, you know, it's the secret to painting good models if you don't want to layer a bajillion shades. Uh, no, I just layered it on. I find it that thin streaky coats leave this nice texture without destroying the like cherry blossom trees and it works pretty well to add some nice texture and grime and all the, the good things that you want on a little model I'm filming the intro and outro back to back. Thank you for watching. Uh, my last video did way too good. <laughs> it, it was it was a surprising amount of people who found my video, which I had never had happen to me before. And I hope this does as good, if not better. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, well, this is my first real video. The last one was just like an update. Uh, and I tackled a project I've been waiting to do for quite a while, which is my model of Canis Rex. And now I finally have a mildly painted Imperial Knights, uh, I don't know, 
I have two more armigers with the chain, chain whatnots. Uh, I'm thinking about converting them to look like Chainsaw Man, uh, just for fun. Maybe paint them the same as well. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be cool. No pressure. Thanks. I'm gonna do the thing again. Ah.